just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go with another epic rap battle of history. This one is <laughs> Genghis Khan versus the Easter Bunny. Now, when I first, it was quite a while ago, first got told about this one in the comment section, I genuinely thought it was just somebody yanking my chain, you know, just screwing around trolling. I was like, okay, yeah, Genghis Khan Easter Bunny, and I looked it up, and I was like, oh, god damn, <laughs> that's a real thing. Which, actually, I, to me, being so outlandish that I thought it was a troll makes it even more fun to watch. This is going to be a good one. And as always, please support the hell out of ERB. Link to this video in the description, as well as to their Patreon. That uh, we're, we're just about, I'll have to go through and see, but I think we're almost completely caught up on what ERB's put out, and it's been such a fantastic ride. They, they, this has been so much fun. <laughs> They're talented guys. Um, now, as far as rooting interest in this, it's you know we, we all know Genghis Khan was a gentle, caring soul, <laughs> was just a rapist, pillager, of oh, the ultimate Mongol. That would have been his, you know, his his wrestling gimmick. He he was a badass dude, and he was a psycho. We we know that conqueror of many lands. So that, you would think, being conqueror of many lands, that would immediately put him as my pick. And it typically it would have, but there's an interesting side to the Easter Bunny story. And no, it, it's not perverted. Stop it. When I was 15, my first real actual job working for you know an actual company was playing the Easter Bunny. Through one Easter season, it was at a, um, uh, a forest shop, a, a flower shop. And... I always had that kind of connection because I was so so excited to finally get a paycheck. I remember I was so happy because, you know, prior to that, me and my cousin would go out like in the wintertime. We'd go out and shovel people's walks. In summertime, we'd do lawn mowing, anything, you know, to hustle a few bucks so we could go to. Uh, we, we had a place um, in Schenectady where my where I used to hang out with my cousins called the Dog House. It was a little hot dog place and the guy sold magic tricks and stuff like that behind the counter and so we would hustle some money you know doing whatever work we could so we could go down there and have hot dogs hang out with our friends and it was just a great time and I just remembered playing the Easter Bunny get, and getting that first actual paycheck and that feeling of accomplishment and stuff I was like yeah I'm a I'm, man now I'm working <laughs> didn't realize that you know working for a living becomes a, a, a complete drag over the next 40 years <laughs> 40 plus years but it's, a, it's okay. I, it, it was a great first dipping of one's toes into the job market, and it's something I have fond memories of, so I'm going to give in and root for the Easter Bunny against Genghis Khan. I'd say he's a prohibitive underdog. <laughs> Let's go see. That battle's of history! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the side. <laughs> oh, yeah, I invented it, Boppin. Ooh. Buckethead. <laughs> oh. Ooh, running through your vagina. Finally, he, he got hard. <laughs> Okay, I, I like the Feel the Wrath of Khan line, but also uh, the the sword as a penis, that uh, that was a good touch, Genghis. <laughs> I like his flow. You're going to attack me with a posse of peeps? <laughs> that, oh, oh. Your butcher your family and make listen, listen. If somebody attacked me with a posse of peeps, I would give up. I would get the fear. Peeps are the most disgusting thing. And this is coming from a big fat man. When something is so sweet it makes me want to puke, they're disgusting. Yeah, peeps are scary. Oh, your army is weak. What? You're going to attack me with a posse of peeps? I'll they might be stale too, Genghis. I like that. Put your family and make a new coat. That's good. No shit, it's true. A fluffy bitch mask off our Hallmark in denial. That was a good final line. Completely. <laughs> Co 
completely complete ruination of the legend of the Easter Bunny. He's nothing but a, a greeting card salesperson, and uh, of course, candy and trinket salesperson. Yeah, to me, this one we've had a lot of close ones recently. For me. This one wasn't that close. I think Genghis destroyed him. I'll be interested to see what you guys say, but I think Genghis Khan had all the hard-hitting lines. Uh, the Easter Bunny was was weak. Wasn't well, I shouldn't say was weak, but they were mostly oh, why you got to be so mean stuff, and that's just not a way to win a rap battle. Plus, I really I kind of like Genghis's flow better. Uh, so, given both of those things, I, I I think Genghis Khan skewered the Easter Bunny. I think he did. Yes, I know, it's punny. I, I, I think he destroyed him. Now, anybody surprised by that outcome? Genghis Khan Easter Bunny was lopsided? But yeah, I, I think it was just as lopsided as if they'd have been fighting with swords. Either way, the Easter Bunny ended up in a little pile of little round rabbit turds.